Hi, everyone, and welcome to Inside Bristol. I'm your host, Sheridan Nichols, and I've got Matthew Johnson with me today from Sullivan County Department of Archives and Tourism. And we're going to talk about a lot of fun events coming up to celebrate the Christmas season in the month of December. So where do we start? We've got maybe four different things going on. So online get your up until the 16th out. of November. And then on race day, you can register in person starting at 7 a.m. and then it's 35. Okay, and it's a big turnout. So if you haven't done it before, it's definitely something I think you should add to your bucket list. That's and the best part is um, the proceeds. They go to all of a bunch of different programming at the YWCA, which we know is just vital for our community. That's Tell us a little bit about that. That's right. So the YWCA, like I said, it's been in um, Bristol here since 1943. Started as a residence for women that came to Bristol looking for employment in that Second World War. And we're continuing to tackle some of those big community issues, um, high quality, affordable child care, racial injustice, teen pregnancy, and um, the gender disparity. And so any of the proceeds from this race are going to support that cause, which is, of course, doing the amazing work here in our community. And then if we need to sign up, how do we sign up? That's right. Oh, perfect. And then I know aside from that, there's also a concert. Or you can come in person to our State Street location and you can sign up there um, with us. And we would love to have you join. And of course, race day, 7 a.m. If you want to come out really early and join us, you can sign up there. Do you need to get tickets for that? Sometimes nope, people really can okay. get into the theme. Minutes, uh, I think that's a lot of yeah. fun too. Bucks, you see so. some people oh, out there perfect. with like so turkey definitely hats. Definitely. Yes, please dress up. And this year and with the 80s theme, you're going to kind of see that coming with our 80th anniversary. So you want to wear those bright colors, those big hair bows. Like we would love to have people dress up. So absolutely dust off your like high top Reeboks that's that right that's right too. I don't know if those would be very comfortable jogging shoes but you know they <laughs> yeah. may be well we're excited we're gonna all have a very busy December it sounds like in Blumfall so thank here you in for the... getting on the show today and telling us all about it and don't go anywhere we'll be right back Hi everyone and welcome back to Inside Bristol. I'm your host Sheridan Nichols and I've got Lieutenant Nathan Johnson with us today from the Bristol Tennessee Fire Department. And we're gonna talk about some really important fire safety tips this time of year. Everyone's cranking up the heaters or plugging in space heaters, holiday lights, all sorts of things. Oh, yeah. So tell us how to keep our home safe during the winter months. So, you know, heat, heating is the number two cause of home fires in America. So that's first and foremost, when it gets winter, everybody's start cranking up the heat. Uh, so if you have an HVAC system, most people, it, it's pretty maintenance free, you know, other than that, but they tend to run electric heaters. So portable electric heaters, you wanna be very careful of those. Don't leave them unattended. They leave you a three foot gap in between all sides of it. Uh, those are the main points, never leave it unattended. Uh, if you have wood, you know, you can clean your chimneys out, usually annually is what we recommend. Uh, and if you have gas heat uh, in the uh, form of logs and ventless or ventless, you can have a CO detector and keep it in a ventilated area. And I know I just, we just got our serviced. So okay, I yeah. know that's definitely something you can do. And yes, they'll, they'll, even if it's a gas fireplace, they'll clean everything sure. out. And it's it's definitely great yes. to make sure everything's running well, especially no, before we get into- something people forget. You know, your smoke detectors, we just time change. So you need to make sure you change your batteries out on those as well. And then holiday lights. I always think of Chevy Chase oh, and yes. Christmas vacation. I mean, we can't do that. We just, right. <laughs> we can't have multiple no. outlets. What's uh, kind of a good rule of thumb? Well, you don't want to overcrowd your outlets, obviously. So if a breaker trips, you know, most people's go plug them in anywhere they can get access to it. But if your breaker trips, that's obviously a sign that you've overloaded your breaker. You need to try to find something different. Extension cords, everybody loves extension cords. Make sure you're not running them under rugs, through doors, windows, anything that's got a pinch point that could, you know, compromise the electrical cord and cause you a fire. And then I know, of course, this time of year too, with all the holidays, you tend to have a lot more people over and you're cooking and cooking so- Cooking is the number one. There we go. We call. started so, with our number That's number right. One. So you don't want to leave it unattended. That's one thing, you know, in the hustle and bustle, you get to doing things. So always stay with it. Keep your towels and everything away from your eyes or anything of that way. If you're cooking turkey, obviously grease and water don't mix. So don't pour water on your grease. If it gets out of hand, use a cover. Keep a fire extinguisher readily available because there could be an accident. So uh, That's right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yes, anything I'm missing, anything you want to uh, add? Th uh, the bird ban is in effect now for the city due to okay. the dry conditions. So uh, that's until we get some substantial rainfall, the fire marshal will have that in place. Okay, good deal. Thank All you right. for being with thank us today. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 
Hi, everyone, and welcome to Inside Bristol. Welcome back, I should say. Sheridan Nichols here, and I've got two Emilys, Emily Fleener and Emily Champagne, both with Believe in Bristol. And we're talking about a lot of fun Christmas activities coming up. Where do we want to start the parade? Oh, my goodness. There's so much going on in November and December to celebrate the holidays in downtown Bristol. Of course, our annual tradition in Bristol of the Christmas parade is happening this year. What's the date again? It's the first Thursday of December. It starts at seven and it'll be um, from Bob Morrison Boulevard down to State Street all the way down till you get to the sign, basically. So you can line the streets with your kiddos and huddle together to stay warm. Exactly, and of course that's brought to you by the Bristol Chamber of Commerce. And from what I hear, they have more than a hundred floats participating wow. in this parade. So it's gonna be a good time. And that'll be good with a big appearance from someone special at the end. That's right. Of that's always great. <laughs> and what about, we've got tree lighting and yes. downtown small businesses and. Yeah, so the first Saturday or the Saturday after Thanksgiving is small business Saturday. So it's, you know, follow, a follow up to Black Friday where we encourage everyone that spent Friday getting their box store and Amazon deals to come out and shop locally to support their small businesses just as much as we support the larger corporate ones. Um, much more money stays in your local economy when you shop with a small business than when you shop with a corporation. So that's money right in your pocket, your neighbor's pocket, um, your friends. That's right. Shop local. We that's know right. that's always good. We love it. We love to push that. Um, and then, of course, um, our downtown Bristol uh, Christmas tree lighting ceremony is taking place on November 26th. That's a Sunday this year. Um, and we're adding to that event this year. We're going to have a winter carnival. So oh, if you've seen it in the Hallmark movies, that's what we're going for <laughs> here. Um, uh, a fun experience for for families to see the lights. Of course, that's the that is the capstone of the event. But also some fun games, um, some winter slash Christmas themed games for our community oh, members to enjoy as they drink their hot cocoa, eat cookies and, and play with their kids leading up to the big moment where they, where they light up the tree. Oh, I love that. That's going to be yeah. exciting. Eventually, they're going to grow that, and there's going to be like an ice sculpting competition, right? right? Because that's Goals. so Hallmark. Goals. That's right. This is exciting. Yeah, we really that's wanted right. to give a little extra oomph to the Christmas tree lighting. It's one of the community's favorite events. This is our 43rd annual community Christmas tree lighting. But with this being the first year that the Douglas fir is the main Christmas tree, now that no the Norwegian spruce has had to be retired, um, we really wanted to just give it a little revamp, give it a little something extra. Previously, with it being on a Monday, it was really a... Our community members loved it so much and they really put forth the effort, but we recognized the fact that it was a hurry up and get there kind of situation. Right. Coming from work, picking up your kids, doing all of that, um, just to kind of stand in the cold and like wait for the big moment. So we really wanted to move it to a Sunday, make it a little easier on everyone, and then give it a little bit more of a build up so you can come out, have fun. There's a little bit more time maybe in between loading your kids up with sugar and actual bedtime <laughs> rather than right before. Um, you can kind of pace yourselves a little bit, but really just make it something that's more fun um, that the community can really be proud of and that gives us that quintessential downtown Christmas feel that we all love. That's right, and two big additions this year, of course, the Winter Carnival, but this tree uh, has never seen this amount of lights before. Oh, We're wow. having a professional install all of the lights on Thursday and Friday of this week. It is going to be massive. So oh, I think there's something exciting. like over 200 strands of lights on this thing. Oh, wow. So oh, it's gonna great. be fantastic. And then also, Santa Claus is coming to perform a special, um, to give us a special performance as Santa and the Sleigh Boys after the Christmas tree lighting. So oh, if you want to stick around, watch the lights twinkle through the night, um, and then see Santa perform some country bluegrass Christmas songs. Oh, what fun. is more Bristol I than love that? that. That's <laughs> uh, the tree lighting location will also be the location of 25 of our Christmas tree village trees that are decorated by um, community members and local businesses. So there will be the trees there that you, that will light with the main tree 
documentary that you can walk through um, before and after Santa's performance, as well as um, trees in Anderson Park and the downtown center this year. So there will be three different locations for our community Christmas trees. Um, and you can vote on your favorite to win people's oh, choice. Oh, I love that too. Yeah, you do. Where, really do you, where do you go to do that? So everything is gonna be located at believeinbristol.org okay. slash Christmas. All of the events, all of the details, voting Everything for all of our uh, contests. I love that. Well, thank you, ladies, for being here today. Absolutely. It's, we're all super excited now for this holiday season that's upon <laughs> us. So thanks for being with us today. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>